clearly a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. There are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of their excitement and expectation. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue. Quite a sight to behold. And already we're underway here. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Alisson. He's an excellent shot stopper, Peter, first and foremost. But he's just as good at creating chances as he is snuffing them out. He can spread the ball out quickly to both wings, whether it be with an accurate long pass or a quick throw. And that places him in the top order of the world's keepers. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. Zinchenko. And it's played forward. Just brushed off the ball there. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Ukraine get it back again. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. And now they can launch a counter. He's left his man. Has a pop! A real chance and a real let off. Barcelona just served up a reminder of how good they can be on the break. Their method is clear. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Quick glance and hits one! It's broken loose. Oh, shame, that was nicely worked. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. And it's been taken short. Danilo Pereira. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. No, that's not the ball he wanted. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Big chance! Really has the confidence and skill to be able to hold the ball up like that until support arrives a little sooner. And just maybe there he overdid it slightly and should have released it because the support was arriving quickly. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Receives it in a good position. to get it forward quickly it has got through to him up for the header and it's a goal there's such a big name on your side to register very close to the break not only creates a real buzz in your dressing room during the break but the spirits the opposition too and, and sets up a decent chance to go on and, and finish this game to their liking and look, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Barcelona put themselves into the lead. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Zinchenko. Cristiano Ronaldo. And 
There's the end of the first half. There we are. Up they go for half time. They did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Barcelona, the happier of the teams, heading in for half time, 1 0 up. Already up and running for the second half. Barcelona carrying a one goal lead. Alisson deals with it effortlessly. Hoists it forward. Morientes. Good take, and he's had a look. Sinchenko. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And it's Griezmann. He's through the middle. Could be thinking about it. He's had a shot! In for the follow-up! He scores! A two-goal cushion! And it's looking safe! Ronaldo with a predatory goal. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions. How quick-minded was that? Barcelona get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal is such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Tried to play it through. Ah, oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Barcelona take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Gets away from his opponent, Morientes. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Barcelona tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. He's there to receive it. Forward it goes. Morientes. Cuts it out. Morientes, he's got it, it's Cristiano Ronaldo! No, it's wide, oh, no, that was a chance, what a chance. <laughs> and here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Zinchenko. Griezmann. He's made sure that that won't get through.
confirmation that there will be two minute stoppage this time. Barcelona have one big.